Let's try to find out the derivative of cosec inverse x. Uh, just like in the previous videos, we find the derivative of tan inverse x, cot inverse x, and sec inverse x, and many other trig ratios, uh, uh, inverse of, uh, derivative we find out. So let's try to find out here in the same way. Suppose this is my function y, which is equal with cosec inverse x. So since cosec is in inverse, so what I can write that cosec y is equal with x. Now we can differentiate both sides with respect to y because cosec has angle uh, y. So differentiating both sides with respect to y. We get uh, now derivative of cosec y with respect to x is equal with with respect to y is equal with dx over dy and we everybody know that cosec y derivative of cosec theta is minus cosec theta times cot theta so same thing I'm writing minus cosec theta it's not theta it's y times cot y equals to now dx over dy okay so we know the value of this uh, cosec y right we know the value of this but we don't know what is cot y so uh, one thing we had learned in the early stage of trigonometry that cosec square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 so here what we can do cosec square theta minus 1 will be cot square theta so so uh, if you want to write just here cot theta then it will be inside the root cosec square theta minus 1 all right so here what we can write cosec y times under root cosec square theta minus 1 it's not theta sorry it's y again and again I'm confusing minus 1 all right and that is equal with dx over the dy now we can easily put the value of cosec y as x so what I will get minus x times x square minus 1 equals to dx over dy now we can just uh, find the reciprocal of this so we'll get um, dy over the dx dy over the dx will be uh, 1 over this is minus so minus x times x square minus 1 all right this is inside the root so finally we get the derivative of cosec inverse x something like this derivative of cosec inverse angle with respect to its angle is minus 1 divided by angle times under root angle square minus 1 so the result of this this result we can use as identity to find the derivative of other cosec inverse uh, angles uh, cosec inverse uh, trig ratios right so let's take an example suppose I have a function y equals to cosec uh, inverse anything you say like uh, 3x square plus 2 all right so I have y equals to cosec inverse 3x square plus 2 and now I'm gonna use this result to find the derivative of this okay so our derivative will be now dy over dx equals to same uh, derivative of uh, cosec inverse 3x square plus 2 let me try to put this into the bracket right okay so with respect to its angle its angle is what 3x square plus 2 so with respect to 3x square plus 2 again the derivative of this angle 3x square plus 2 over the dx so now I'm differentiating both sides with respect to x here is also dx here is also dx so now uh, let's try to compare something here derivative of cosec inverse x with respect to its angle is minus 1 over angle times inside the root angle square minus 1 so here also cosec inverse angle uh, with respect to its angle will be 1 minus 1 over angle first 3x square plus 2 and again uh, ang under root x square minus 1 that is angle square which is uh, 3x square plus 2 angle square minus 1 all right so now see here uh, this is angle uh, uh, times under root angle square minus 1 all right and derivative of 3x square plus 2 will be 3 times 2 that will be 6x and derivative of plus 2 will, uh, 2 will be 0 so finally we can write our derivative dy over the dx is equal with uh, minus 6x divided by 3x square plus 2 times 3x square plus 2 whole square minus 1 and let me put this inside the 
root all right this is our answer and this is the way how to find the derivative of any cosec inverse function i hope you understand the way you learn that way to find the derivative of uh, any trig uh, ratios all right trig uh, uh, trig uh, inverse functions all right so catch you in the next video with the next problem goodbye stay tuned